Hi there, Chris here. Um, I wanted to say that I picked this, this Ruko. The last uh, video I did, I made it a key for it, and I could not remember if I picked it before, um, but I just picked it, so I'll, I'll be picking this on camera very soon. Works nicely with my new key, if I can get my key out. There we go. It's still a little stiff. I gotta put this on the deburr on the machine or something. Here's the original key. Works with that. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know what happened. <laughs> Filming, this is like the outtakes. What the hell? I didn't do anything but pick it. There we go. <laughs> That's live filming for you. Anyway, not picking that now. What I'm going to do is pick this uh, Wilson Bohannon. And this is a RG and E Corporation. Um, I want to say that's probably Rochester Gas and Electric. This has had a little run in the block hospital and stay tuned at the end of this video somebody wanted to see what the lock hospital looked like so I'll probably do that at the end so let's see if I can find a tension wrench for this see if I can get in this old guy it's beautiful all brass it's a 621 um, no key but I don't think I need a key. It's still probably pretty gunky inside. So let's see if I can get it picked. Well, I'm not gonna get it picked with that. Um, boom, 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 boom. Maybe this tension wrench. Still has a lot of oil in it, or WD, or I did flush it out yeah I can tell there's um, still a lot of oil in the pin chambers makes a different sound when And I think um, that cohesion in there makes them a little bit harder to pick. Although some people like them nice and lubed up. I think Cherokee for one, Cherokee. But I think there's a, for me there's a happy compromise and, and it's, they're working smooth but they're not there's not enough liquid in there to make it sort of sticky. And I think this is sticky. because I did pick it when it first came in and found all the gunk in it and it was a lot easier to pick. Ooh. I think we have it. There we go. Yeah, still needs another flush out. So it'll go back in the hospital for a flush out. And when I flush them out, I use um, uh, lighter fluid. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> this one. <laughs> this one didn't stay in the lock hospital long enough, obviously. <laughs> Whoa. Anyway, that's a beautiful all brass Wilson. Whoops. Bohanna.
Let's see if I can get it locked back up here. Still a little stiff. There we go. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching. Two things. One, uh, one of them, I'll probably pick this on camera. Um, and I may make a key for it on the Blitz machine. We'll see if I have the right cards and all that. Somebody, a pocket woman, wanted to see Suki's Blitz, Blitz machine cutting a key. So we, do, we could do that, I think, if I have the right, uh, right cards. And even if I don't have the right cards, I've... I pick a card that's close in the spacing and then work it out. Um, and stay tuned for a real quick um, shot of the lock hospital. Um, and that will be coming up. So leave a comment. Say hello to the cats. Uh, we've been, I've been trying to clean off the lock lab table here. So hopefully we can post a cat holiday party video <laughs> where the cats are having a little party with their Christmas tree and some treats and we'll see if I can get that together <laughs> gotta get things cleaned up um, so I have room to do that anyway um, see you in just a second we'll see the lock hospital okay here's a shot of the lock hospital and what happens here is uh, I have various locks that have sticky actuators or gunky inside or like totally rusted, rusted, rusted that we're working on. Um, so I use WD-40 and Tri-Flow and lighter fluid to flush them out. And so they live here in the hospital right next to the coffee maker. Which is not always a good thing because this coffee maker is about 20 years old and sometimes overflows and <laughs> some of the coffee <laughs> it goes into the lock hospital and these guys get a caffeine treatment. <laughs> so that's not always good. But that's a little shot. I just have that in my kitchen um, next to the coffee and the cookbooks and, and the little treats for the locks if they need need a little treat while they're in the hospital anyway that's that um so i can't remember who asked to see this someone i uh, hope that gives them an idea of what i do i just really flush these things out over and over and over until they're uh, working better all right thanks a lot hit the like leave a comment thank you to all my new subscribers and we will see you next time